Kia ora, welcome to Homeland. I'm Peter Gordon and I've got with me today Delwyn Tuanui from the Chatham Islands Food Company. Nice to have you in the house, Delwyn. Great to be here, Peter. I find it hard to believe that people don't like kina, but I, I kind of get it because it's not an attractive thing. But this is a recipe that I guarantee will win people over to the joys of kina. Beautiful, yeah. looking forward to it. You know, kina is uh, New Zealand's indigenous caviar and it's something we should be really proud of and, and not be afraid to try, but it, it is an acquired taste. So. Mm. I'm looking forward to um, you helping us win some new Kenna fans over. Great. Great. First thing I'm going to show you is a really cool trick. It's, it's a way that um, if you're zesting lots of lemons and stuff, it always sticks to your grater, yeah. it always gets stuck in the inside. Just get yourself that side of the grater, okay. get yourself a bit of baking parchment. Yep. So make sure it's baking parchment because it has a little bit of a sealant on it. Okay. Hold I like the paper where this on is there going. and then you just grate onto the paper. So it sort of seems like it shouldn't work, but then when you peel the paper off, all the zest comes. Okay. There's none on Clean. there. There's often a little bit on the inside there. Yep. So we'll just get that out. But you don't have to scrape your grater uh, or use a pastry brush to get off. And then you just oh, scrape no this, look at that, put it into your food processor, juice the lime, you can use a lemon or a lime, but these limes today were just so good and luscious. I, I was gonna do a lemon, yep. but I thought I can't not use these limes while they're so good. This is for color, to be honest, it's for color. You're gonna get the flavor of the parsley. It's just gonna change the kinder dip from being something very beige and dippy yep. into something a bit more vibrant. Just use the leafy bits. Beautiful, yeah, right, I've got your the juice. lime juice. Where are we going with this, straight If in. you add the lime juice to that, that's great. We'll add a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to grab a one. bit of black pepper, be a bit generous with that. Let's add the hero of the dish, the kinder. Look at that. I mean, how how can people not want to eat that? It's beyond me. It's, it's beyond, really me, beyond me, honestly. What I've done with this, I've just, I've sat it in a um, strainer. Yep. Just for a little bit, because there's, there's a bit of liquid in there. And what you can do is you can save that liquid, and if you need to thin down your dip, you can add it again. But I just yep. take off that extra liquid, which yep. is just the natural juices from the kinder. Yep. And then we're just going to blitz that up. And then it's as simple as adding cream cheese. Okay, so I have to say, I've, I've um, served this before, and we had, uh, a, she, she'll remain nameless, but she's a lovely fire out at one of the marais that I filmed on. And she said, Look, I know I'm supposed to like dinner, but I just don't like it. And I served her this, and she said, if I'd known that kinder could taste that good, I would have had it as a kid. Yeah. So I know this is going to win people over. So Looking forward to it. Let's taste it for seasoning. Yum. Oh, that's delicious. Come on, New Zealand, you've got to get some of this. <laughs> Tuck in. So Dylan, what do you really think? Peter, I think this one is the new iconic kiwi dip right here. Awesome. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? It is. It is really good. And if you'd like to buy some of this delicious kinna, just go to chathamislandfood.com and you can get it delivered anywhere around New Zealand. Thanks for coming. Great to be here. Thanks very much.